Hello, hello! I'm Perrexion, and welcome back to part 4 of our Shapes 2 playthrough. So, we ended up last episode after we had started to send a whole bunch of shapes here into the mill. And uh, um, between episodes I did some more cleanup and I realized a few different things. Uh, I removed the extra circles from the blueprint here. However, uh, it says X here. And uh, actually, they have changed now. So, the upgraded blueprint shape now requires us to have... Uh, this, uh, not sure exactly what the, this one is called, <laughs> the rounded corner or something, uh, I'm not sure what to call this one, uh, instead. So this, these are no longer valid, so uh, I think we're just going to cut this out for now and just send the regular ones, I think. That should be fine. Still be fine, yeah. Okay. Also, um, as you can see here, the, these are not full belts. Um, so I actually messed something up over here when I made this. And the problem is these two. Uh, I only have one rotator. I need two of them to actually have a full band or belt. So if I do it like this instead, and do this direction, and merge everything together like this, and then we should be running at full speed again. So, that was a mistake definitely, but uh, now there should be full belts going here again. Uh, also, uh, I spent a little bit of time to clean up my blueprints and now I have added them down here as well. So we have the stacker and diagonal swappers, half diagonals and the platform extractor I have added over here. Uh, the ones over here. And uh, I think I made a, a pretty neat version of the half... Uh, where we are? Uh, here. Of the half diagonal swapper. So, like this. So, we just put in one belt here. And it splits them up and outputs two of them. Since we're only using half of it for every part of this. So, uh, we could definitely make use of this here and there in our factories. Uh, stacker is just a regular one, and the diagonal stacker, I have just cleaned it up a little bit, so it looks neater. Uh, oh, um, we might need to actually add some rotation to that one as well, just to make sure that everything is rotated properly once it gets outputted. Alright, and we also have some tasks we have finished here. Uh, so, let's see here. That one, and that one. Okay, so, uh, we still have this one. <laughs> So we just need to add another. <laughs> okay, on top. Uh, where are we making those again? Uh, right over here. Okay, so I think uh, this is the a very opportune moment to actually make use of our new improved uh, half diagonal swapper here. So we can just add... Oh, it actually fits here. Perfect. Okay, so we just connect there, and uh, let's see here, um, we should probably add a stacker here as well. I think, I mean this should probably work, you can just do it like that, add this one there. Oh no, not, not that direction. Um, we're going to add you straight ahead and you go up there. There we go. Okay, and now this should be enough <laughs> to actually make progress here. Okay, so we get double there and then we add a third layer and then we just add him to these and we should be fine with that one. Um, Alright, so the blue one's completed, and now we need to start working on this milestone shape. And this uh, looks like it's going to be one of the first more important ones. Um, if you look at the milestones, um, we have uh, this cesta here that we can uh, level up our operator level by continuously delivering this shape. So this might be the first shape we're actually continuously delivering. Looks like this one as well. 
So from now on, we're just going to send, uh, be sending the last one we build continuously. Alright, but that means that we should probably go out into the wild world and hunt for the shapes we're looking for. And, uh, hmm. I think. Uh, okay, um. Okay, so we should probably see if we can make use of these instead now that we no longer need them. Okay, and uh, you know what? Uh, if you look here at the knowledge panel, we actually have scaling up as a tip here. Things like building modular, which uh, we're doing so far, I think, pretty good. And uh, we can also make platform modules. So we can just paste platforms, which does things. So I think that uh, maybe we can turn this one into a two belt, two four half uh, diagonal splitter at the start. Okay, so in that case, why don't we just uh, clean this one out a bit? And we'll, let's add some half diagonal swappers here. Ooh, I'm not sure we fit everything here actually. Oh, this is going to be interesting then. Okay, so let's just clear out everything. Okay, so maybe I can fit them like this. Okay, I think that'll work. Almost. Oh, wait, wait a minute, I just thought of something. Um, can I launch them from above, like that? I mean, it should work. Okay. Interesting. And then we do this one over here. Okay, so if we're done, uh, if we're done everything uh, right now, this should take two shapes, uh, split them up into diagonals, and send them off. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like uh, it works like that. Okay. Um, Okay, it looks like we, we're not able to uh, jump them off. Uh, or maybe we are. Okay, for some reason it has to, still has the shape here like it's not working. But from what I can tell, uh, it looks like it's working. Okay, well uh, that's good to see. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, maybe we could have a better design on this. Not sure though. Well, seems to be working at least. So now we have a, a new blueprint here. Can I just select this one and save it? Okay, nice. Um, let's see, this is a half diagonal. Uh, half diagonal. Uh, just going to call it that. And let's just add it in the main folder for now. And we can create a folder called platforms. And add one there. Okay, interesting. And uh, so yeah, we just need to. Clear it out again, I guess. Alright, so what are we going to make here? We, we're going to need all the different half versions here. So uh, let's make a new one then. Uh, where we uh, just cut everything up. I mean, this should be pretty easy to do. We just add four of these on, e on each side, and we should be good to go. 
like so. And rotate. Okay, let's first of all, let's just connect these. Mm, I realize now that I, be, I put this a little bit too close, as usual. There we go. Okay, and... Okay, so we do the opposite rotation here. And, uh, like so, and like so. Oh, right. Uh, we get twice the number of shapes now, so... Uh, we actually need to split these up. So... Oh, right, we can remove those. Okay, and then uh, grab these. So... And these. Like so, okay. Oh, I see. okay, now I get it. Uh, it's because uh, the belt on this side doesn't really take care of them. Okay, so now if we go back here, it's fine. Okay. Um, all right, should we just uh, save this one as well then? Could probably just save the extractor <laughs> with everything attached. Okay, so this is a half cutter. Uh, let's gonna add it to the platforms. There we go. Okay, so now we have uh, the circles. And uh, maybe we should, uh, as suggested here, like make a platform which rotates everything. Um, because uh, well, well, we'll see what kind of direction I do need these in. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Oh, we finished this one up. Nice. Uh, maybe we should actually go look at some upgrades here. Um, so we have 180 rotators. Some more foundations. Wires. We don't, I don't think we're going to go into wires yet. Okay. Um, let's grab... I mean, I could grab even better belts, but I think just upgrading these two for now would be fine. And the 180 rotator could also be good to have. Um, all right, so um, if I just cut out this part, uh, Then that would mean that we actually have uh, our circles here. Okay, and uh, hold on a second. Um, okay, so this removes all of them and maybe you just can make use of our 180 rotator right away like that. Oh, that seems pretty nice. Okay, so... Um, let's see here. Okay, and we can just cut these. Add two of them side by side. And that... Wait a minute. Okay. Uh, then we can probably set them all up like this. Okay, and then we just need to merge them together into belts again um, so okay and then we arrive here um, okay so we're going to clear this one out for now and uh, we make we'll, we'll probably make this into a stacking platform then okay but first of all we need to rotate these so 
let's just uh, go out here and add a new platform here. Okay, so let's make this into a rotating platform then. Uh, okay, so what would be a good way to do this? I mean, we should probably probably fine to just do something like this. Uh, add some rotators like so. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so this is supposedly a uh, And what's, which one did I use? I used a clockwise rotator. Okay, I think that was actually the one we needed. Okay, nice. I didn't really think about it too much, but uh, looks like uh, it was a great success there. Okay, so another. Okay, so this is 90 the clockwise rotate. Let's add platform here to the to the platforms for now okay so everything uh, has been merged now all that's left is to add some stackers here and <laughs> the question is uh, are we able to fit these um, hmm. we'll see okay so everything is going to the uh, top level there Hmm, okay, interesting. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so... Just trying things out we can. Okay, so we do have some space at least. Okay, so... Why don't we start with one of the middle ones? Or maybe it's better to just do it so that it can output directly here. Okay, and then we just pull that one down. Okay, uh, I think uh, we'll be able to get this done. Should be able to. Okay. Um, uh, maybe. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can fit everything here. Doesn't, that looks like it might be a bit tight here. But uh, we can have uh, multiple different directions where we enter from. So we could uh, enter from this side over here. Okay, so if I were to copy this and add it here. And uh, that means we would be able to add this one and this one and then output it over here. Okay, and then uh, we can just add this one there, this one there. Okay, so we managed to make at least two of them. Okay, I'm going to cut this belt for now so we can at least see what we're working with here. Um... Uh, like so. Okay, so this looks this looks good. Uh, oh, okay, it looks like a few shapes did not get rotated as, as they should have been. Okay, uh, let's just clear out all of the belt then. Alright, so that's the first part. And now we need to fit the rest of them. I think we can fit... If I... Use the shift F here to mirror this one. We can at least fit one more here. But how are we supposed to fit the last one? 
Oh, you know what? What we can do? We can probably grab this one and go up a level immediately. And take a uh, move around here. And this one might also be able to go up a level. Uh, saving on some space. Oh, it's so close though. Uh, but we have upgraded our stackers. We don't really need all of them. We could make do with just these. Which would be fine. And I just also realized something that we could just move everything one space to the left here. Like so. This could give us some more space. We could definitely make use of the third dimension here. Oh, right, we, we can't do it like that. Not unless I move things back one space. Okay, and we can merge these together. Okay, that got me a little bit more space. So, maybe that's actually enough. Okay, so if we... Oh, um, if I grab this one again. And add it here. Oh, wow. Okay, are we actually going to fit everything? I think we are. Oh, yes. Okay. Nice. Okay, and we just flip this one. And we can place it all the way down here if we need to. Oh wow, okay, this is kind of crazy. <laughs> that we actually managed to get everything together here. Wait, what? So, you go down there. Okay, and you go over here and then we go down get into there and then all that's left now is to just connect everything up and wow okay <laughs> Whew, okay we <laughs> somehow made uh, it work with, even though we have too many stackers but uh, I'm thinking that we're probably gonna upgrade our belts pretty soon. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, so a stacker is 20 per minute and the bells will be 150, which means that we will need seven and a half of them. So this is a bit of a future proofing, but uh, uh, but wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> somehow we made it. Okay, so... Let's just add space belt here then. Yeah, and we need to head over here now. And just cut this off for now. Okay, and select all connected. Delete. And same with this one. Delete. Okay. There we go. Clean it up a bit. Okay, so now we have half of this shape, so now we just need to do the other half. And uh, I think... Uh, thinking that we might actually do that over here. I mean, we could probably cut things up pretty neatly over, over here. Okay, so... Um, Like so, and I haven't yet uh, done a, uh, an extractor with all the bells connected already, but we'll start with that. Uh, okay, so uh, I think we need to do quite a lot of work now, so maybe we need a double one here. So we have some more space to work with. 
Okay, so this one is going to be quite special, I think. Um, oh, wait a minute, what? Okay, I need to... I need to see what the diagonal swap with us. Okay, so if we... If we just... Go there. And... Rotate you. And then... Go up here. What will we get out? Hey, we actually... <laughs> we actually managed to untangle them. Ah. That's pretty neat, actually. Oh, okay. Um... Okay, did I actually make a platform? Okay, so let's check here. Uh, I have half cut and a half diagonal. I don't have this version yet. Okay, so I think in that case, we can just remove this. And uh, let's add a new basic platform here. And uh, this is going to be the diagonal swapper then. In that case, uh, okay, so I do have a diagonal swapper here. Um, wow, okay, the big drawback with this is it takes up quite a lot of space. Hmm. But it also is okay. It takes two shapes, and okay, so we, sh we should be fine. Um, if I just do a shift F like that, um, do I need to uh, actually add some extra spacing here? I probably do. Okay, um, let's just delete these for now. Okay, so if I add one diagonal swapper here, I'm just going to add it here as a test to see what uh, see what we get. Okay, so we put you forward there, and you can go up there. All oh, right, I need to rotate stuff. Um, okay, in that case, let's just cut these and move them back a little bit so I can actually do some rotation here. Um, okay, two rotators there. Put them back and you can still just go up as usual. Okay, so now we get these. Uh, okay. Um... Uh, this is a bit too tight, unfortunately. But I do have one more space to work with. So we can probably just move everything back one space over here instead. You can enter from there. Okay, we can um, clear this out. And I see something is complaining over here. Alright, okay, so you need to go there. And it looks like I dropped something here as well. Oh, this is actually pretty neat. Um, <clears throat> also, um, we probably don't need the diagonal swapper like this, um, as we already have the half shapes over here. Um, but uh, since we're getting, we're, we're kind of close to actually getting this one done, so I might as well finish it up. Um, let's see here. This is two belts worth of shapes. Like so. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, 
do it uh, this way, perhaps. Not sure if I, I can. Yeah, okay, so I, I will need to use the second layer if I actually want to stack these together in a good way. Or maybe I can do it something like this. Uh, but then I need to merge everything together with the other side as well. Oh boy, okay, this was uh, <laughs> a little bit trickier than I was expecting it to be. So maybe just uh, end this for now. And we'll get back to it later on if we find that we actually do need it. Okay, so... Um, now we just need to... Okay, so this is the same speed. Okay, nice. Um, we just need to rotate everything so that they're in the same direction. Like that. And then we can merge them together into two belts. So, and you go out this way, like that, and that's perfect, a perfect half, so we can just copy, shift F to mirror everything, paste, and now we have a swapper, I guess, it's like, it's kind of like, hmm, Uh, not sure what to call this one, the twister. <laughs> we we kind of swap uh, mirror. It's like a mirror swap, perhaps. Cross swap. Okay. So let's just let's just save this one for now. So I'm going to call it cross swap platform. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to clean that up later. Okay, so now we just need one more platform here, um, where we, we we take each half and then stack them on top of each other. Uh, okay, so it looks like the gray is actually in the correct position. Uh, you know what? Uh, maybe maybe he's actually going to make use of a double one this time around. I haven't used those yet, so might be a good uh, opportunity to do that. So uh, oh boy, um, this is going to be a little bit tricky, I think. Uh, maybe you just rotate everything then. You know what? Uh, we just may let's just make a corner here. Like this. Okay, so now we have at least have a corner here. And then we can start adding the double platform. Okay, I think this is going to be easier to work with okay so we have the swappers okay so we don't have any of those so we need to do some cutting now and uh, let's see here that's four of them okay and then we need to rotate this side Okay, and then uh, okay, I need to bring all of this together for some stacking as well. Hmm, I wonder if I should have it in the other direction instead. Okay, so let's see here. Um, so they are in the correct position, so we could just do a stacking. Maybe it's... This is the moment where the bent stacker is actually <laughs> supposed to be used. Um, I mean, they could have been really nice, actually, now that I think about it. I'm not sure. Stacks the top shape on the bottom shape, but puts to the side. Uh, maybe. I kind of want to add this shape from the side, though. Ok, 
Okay, so how do we do this? We need to get this one up. And this is too close as usual. Which means I will cut this off. Okay. Um, so we need to get one space forward before we start merging these. There we go. Uh, but then we need to get all of these out as well. Yeah, I think that should be fine at least. There we go. And maybe we can just add a stacker on this side then. I can probably do that. Let's just add eight of them. Just for future proofing a bit. Okay, so maybe we can just drag this all along the edge here and just output it. Okay, so now's the question. Can I fit a second one of these? Okay, let's see. Oh, uh, kinda. I just want to have this one. You know what? I think we actually managed to fit everything inside here. Like so. Okay. Um, the shapes is telling me this is correct. So let's just copy everything. There. Copy. Flip and paste okay uh, nice we somehow <laughs> made it oh, okay that's uh, really cool actually that we somehow managed to fit everything on one platform here all right so uh, let's see here um, now we just need to merge everything up here. And uh, let's see here. This is a merging platform. Uh, no rotating it at all. Okay, so it merges this side. Oh, we can probably flip it. Okay, so this side. Uh, okay, did I uh, make a copy of that one? Uh, oh. Uh, cross swap. Uh, okay, well, let's just make a copy of this one then. Uh, stacker side plus top. Oh, I could have probably just pasted it right away. Uh, stacker with side plus top. I mean, this thing, this should, this should probably work, right? So if you just turn this one around and oh, remove that one, turn this one in here. Okay, so everything should be working now. Okay, awesome. Um, oh, uh, wrong belt. Uh, we need to do space belts. Okay, could I just select these and empty them out? Okay, and we're almost... Uh, yeah, I think that's good. Clear them out. Oh, there. Oh, there were a little bit more hiding there. Okay, so now they're empty. So all that's left for us now is to 
get them inside the vortex. Okay, so... Um, you know what? Let's just move this one up a little bit. Like so. Yeah, we, we're going to have to... Th I mean, we get some blueprints at least, so... It's not too much of a hurry. Okay, so these are coming in now. So all that's left is to send... Okay, I have all of these <laughs> places open. Uh, wait a minute, did they... Okay, so this one is... Not been added yet, okay. So we have these... Okay, so we have six on each now, okay. Um, here they are, okay. Um, let's start with this one then. Did I just launch everything over to this side first of all? Uh, probably. There we go. Oh, wait, wait, what? Okay, oh, I actually have to click on my snow, okay. There we go. Like so, and then we just launch here. They managed to at least set the launches to launch four spaces, which is just enough to get outside. I think this should be enough to fit everything. So, and the final one. There we go. We could have probably used the above the second floor as well to do this a bit more effectively let's just get rid of some of these all right now we have a whole lot of shapes coming in here and with our belts being at 120 per minute this would be 480 per minute at least i think this is a pretty good start at least for these shapes so now we just need to do something else while we're waiting for this to complete. But man, it's pretty nice to actually see all of this coming in now. Um, but yeah, we had some very interesting machines going on over here. Yeah, this is tight <laughs> built, I have to say. Okay, but uh, now we definitely need to do some tasks as well. We have a final one from this basic area. And uh, we could just add some more of these corners on top. So we could probably do something here. Okay, so you're out there launching away. Um, can we move you a little bit? I think I need a space here. Okay. Well, it's not the prettiest. But at least it should work. Okay, so let's just add a stacker here. And I think I add it uh, here. That way I can split them up into two. So we have one that goes forward, one that goes up here. Okay, so now we have a double one and I can just send that one back here. And uh, go up and into this one. And this looks like something we're, we're going to need. Okay, and this one is already half speed, so it's fine if we do add another half speeder here. Should be fine. Alright, so that is done. Uh, the question is, uh, are we going to actually look into the next tasks? Um, okay, I think uh, we can probably just remove this area for now. And let's see here. So if we were to do a second one, is there an easy one? Okay, this one is super easy to do actually. Uh, we can we can fit this one into this episode. Uh, okay, so all that we need to do is just add one platform here where we cut off. 
one half of it. Okay. That shouldn't be much trouble at all. Okay, so half destroyer take is three for each. Um, so three plus three is three plus three. So you, oh, that was not the one I wanted. I want just a regular belt. Those, those, there and there. Merge it all together and ship. Oh, except I need to rotate everything. Ah, okay, um, so let's move everything forward like so and add our 180 rotator. There we go. And let's just empty out these. So, and then it's just, it's time for some space belts. Okay, so I think we can use the previous entrance we used over here. Um, why, what, what, why did it turn out like this? No idea why it decided to do it like that. Okay, so... All that's left now is just connect everything here. Okay, well, uh, we don't have that many spaces over here. That shouldn't be mu too much of a problem. Yeah, I think we can just have this one run on top. And this one all, all, oh, okay, nice. You could just revert it by going up again. Okay, first of all, uh, I want to see what I'm doing. There, and then we can show it again. And we just copy that. Oh, okay, well, that works, I guess. Uh, looks like this one isn't even in use anymore. Okay, so let's just cut all of this off. Okay, well, I'm going to do that after this episode. So uh, we finally get some more of these going inside now. So I think this is a pretty good stopping point. And a whole bunch of these shapes are being launched now. So and definitely make some good progress. And we made some cool blueprints as well. I'm going to go back and see if there are other, any other blueprints we need to save before uh, I tear anything down. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me know what you th thought about this kind of episode. We'll be more about us trying to solve how to fit as many shapes as possible. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, have a good one. See ya!